Good morning, everybody. Getting started here this morning on um, what I need here from iPad and my notes, and don't have a don't have a lot to, to talk about this morning. Just something that kind of was still in my head from a message the other day about. Um, being careful how we live and just kind of a little expansion of that. Um, some stuff I didn't really talk about that I wanted to talk about. Um, talking about the war that we're in part and how we're in a, we're in a, um, a war against our own sinful natures, against our own flesh. And a spiritual war against this place down here. I mean, Satan's got dominion over it and it's a lot more evil place than it has been. It's, as everybody knows it's been growing and getting worse um, as far as the level of evilness is concerned um, there's nothing new under the sun it's just more prevalent that's the way I'm seeing it it's just an increase um, the level of evil has just gone up and up and up last four years man just so and God's allowed that because I mean it's exactly what he foretold, what he warned us about, what he's warned all the generations about throughout written history um, that would happen. So we're alive to watch it. And so, again, going back to being careful how we live and we're battling against our own sinful nature. We're battling against the evil that's becoming more and more prevalent in this world. And hopefully you are not battling against God. And... I, I just going to share my own personal experience. This today is just kind of a, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants today. And, and, and I've got a few notes, just a couple of things that, but, um, you know, I, I, I battled against God. I mean, when I, I'm, I still on occasion do, but man, nothing like I used to thank God for that. Um, I'm 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 not in a in a tiff with him, and I'm not doing that with him like I used to when I was a young guy. And you know, um, I mean, he and I have um, become friends. And that battle that, that I used to be in with him is, again, thank you, thank you, God, thank you, Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus, that um, I'm not in that battle with them anymore. And what I'm battling against my own sinful nature and what's going on out here in the flesh on on this planet and... And so, um, you know, I call myself a friend of God, but I only call myself that because he let me know that I was. He put that in my heart, that um, we are friends. That we've become friends. That it's taken... We've been friends this whole time, but, you know, it's like... we become very good friends and, and, and if you have very good friends, you have very close family and there's just nothing between you and nothing that could ever come between you. Um, man, got, you're blessed to have that kind of relationship with somebody down here. Um, where there's just absolutely nothing, just nothing, nothing between you. I don't know if you, man, to have that with another person in the flesh, it's just, 
it's rare um, um, it's extremely valuable um, and I know myself it's it's I mean um, I, I, I don't have that many friends okay I just don't and and I want to go there and and have that level of a relationship with people um, but there's a lot of people that that don't want to go there and and so anyway um, let, let's get back to to talk about this war that we're in down here um, if you're able to really um, you know get a handle on controlling your if you if you're winning the battle on the sinful nature part God and Jesus can help you with that and the word of God is full of everything that you need to help you to overcome and, and take control over that and to be winning that battle. Um, same holds true for the battle that we're waging against what's going on in the world. Um, God is willing to give you all of those tools and weapons, if you want to call them that, um, the armor, the, the, you know, the sword, the word, um, the protection, you know, um, to wage against both those battles, what's going on down here and against your own fleshly sinful nature. And so the last person you want to be in a battle with is God because he's, he's there to equip you. He's there to lead you and guide you and give you sound solid advice and it's him that strengthens you that lifts you up that gives you encouragement that he's the gas that helps you kick ass <laughs> I don't know how else to put that but uh, he's my gas that helps me kick ass down here and so um, you know um so thank you, Lord, that I'm not in a battle with you anymore, that, man, I welcome his help. I welcome his advice and expertise and ingenuity and know-how and cunningness and creativity and all the ways to outthink these jokers down here and outthink the enemy and, and uh, to um, let him... Um, have my body and, and not just physically but have it spiritually as well um, the Bible talks about us being both the flesh coming first when, and uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 is uh, talking about um, the fleshly body and the spiritual body and, and so when we're here, we're in a fleshly body, and then when we're when we're done here and we die, we we assume our 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 other body, the the one that we're going to have for eternity spiritually. But we're down here now in a fleshly body, trying to have that spiritual relationship with God. Just like I mean, this relationship started. And this relationship is going to continue when we're when we when we die, and, and so the, the relationship you got going right now is is it's not going to end or change. Well, it's going to change when we die. It's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a lot easier. All this flesh stuff goes away. We don't have to deal with that anymore. Um, our own sinful nature goes away. This earthly crap goes away. We're not, we're not battling against you know the flesh and the blood anymore. Um, and we're not battling against what's evil anymore either. Uh, but right now, you know, um, we're, we're supposed to, we're supposed to be 
the body of Christ. And, and so normally that, that means like you think the body of Christ. Oh, well, the church congregation. And, and, and normally it, it's always been presented that it was like a group. The body of Christ is a group, like a, like a herd. <laughs> you know? I, I know we went to big mega churches in Dallas, Fort Worth, and it was like the herd. The body of Christ herd would, you know, thousand people would come out and then 15 minutes, man, they'd empty the parking lot, fill it up again. And another thousand people would all be sitting inside ready to go again for, you know, round two or round three, <laughs> big church. So this, you know, you think of the body of Christ as being a group. Um, but this is my body and what's left of it. <laughs> Road hard, put up wet. Um, and I'm to the point in my life where I really wish I had made this decision a lot earlier, but God didn't call me to it yet, where I gave him, you know, I want to give him all of it. And and the fleshly part, the controlling of that part, the spiritual part, and the controlling of that part, and allowing him to be, to take take control and and to be in charge. And, and physically, I follow him, and um, mentally, who I am, that's another thing, too. Are you battling against yourself? Uh, you are a sovereign person. You are created in God's image. You are your own. He gave you that gift of being your own person. You own yourself. You, you, and... and when we're out of here and we die, you're going to own yourself then too. Uh, but depending on your decision making now is, you know, where are you going to spend eternity? Um, and, and, um, so, uh, so man, <laughs> battling the flesh, the sinful nature, battling the world, battling God, battling yourself. It's like, gee whiz. <laughs> run to God, run to God, run to God, run to him and say, man, <laughs> I got to get over myself. I got to get over this sinful nature. I've got to, my, my own thinking, my own twisting, my own complicating things, my own making stuff more difficult than it should be. Or, I mean, just, I, I, I just want God to make things very, 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 very simple for me. So I don't have to think that hard and I don't have to exert myself too much. Uh, please, Lord, water this down from to just the basics. Don't let or don't allow anyone to mess it up, to complicate it, to interfere with what, you know, God says that our yoke's supposed to be light and our burden easy and... Um, I'm like, that's the scripture. I always go, man, <laughs> I need to haul the help I can get, Lord. Keep my burden light and, or my, my yoke light and my burden easy. And, and because it's, I've got enough to deal with, um, battling my sinful nature, battling what's going on in the world. And then I don't want to battle you, God, and I don't want to battle myself. And so... Fortunately, um, God's helped me to be able to do that, and it's taken <laughs> a long time. Um, and it's it's a lifelong uh, set of skills to try to get a hold of and, and use on a daily basis. So, um, I... Um, You know, we we're talking about the spiritual body and, um, you know, even in the Lord's prayer, you know, we ask for God's will, you know, what's going on in heaven to be down here on earth for us right now, you know, even though we're not up there yet. And, um, you know, as his body, as his hands and feet and us allowing him to live in us. Um, we can, yeah, we can kind of get a glimpse of that, um, you know, through the Holy Spirit. Um, 
I long to see godly connections made and just signs from God, from, you know, acts of God, good, wholesome, heavenly stuff um, coming out down here and happening um, through other people and through um, who God's called to speak for him and, and, you know, through messages, through scripture. Um, but man, it's just great when it's coming out of, if some other person is allowing Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit to live in their body, um, even better when it's a group at a church where the Holy Spirit's there with that body, the, you know, the group body, but, it's, it's an individual body thing first. And that's, you know, um, I've realized that, um, you, you, that, that's what I am in charge of. That's what I got dominion over is my own mind, my own heart, my own body, my own being. Um, and so like I was talking about, I've, I've chosen to do what's left of mine. Um, for, for God and, and, and I, man, I'm really trying to weed out, um, you know, the sinful part, uh, my sinful nature part and still do stuff I hate. Um, you know, but we're not all there yet. We're, we're, we're here. We're, we're in the flesh and we're preparing. God talks about us. This life is a preparation for our relationship with him, our friendship with him, um, after we're gone out of here. And this is just, just a training round, you know, this is so, um, but you know, I've, I've chosen just individually to let him have me, you know, um, physically and mentally, emotionally. Um, and so the, the only fight that I'm, I'm having to engage in is I can focus all my attention again against the enemy about what's going on in this world. And, um, man, I'm not battling myself. I'm not battling other people. Um, and I know a lot of you guys out there are, and, you know, um, so many comments about so many people having to deal with horrible family members and man, that just breaks my heart that you're having to deal with, with that. I mean, right under your own roof. Um, and you know, it, it's, I, I can sympathize with that and I understand how difficult that is. And if, you know, um, so the more you kind of give yourself to God and the more you're in with him and the more you're just trying to focus on controlling your own sinful desire and, and resisting the devil and, and, you know, resist the devil and he will flee for you. Seek God first and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Um, God will help you to deal with these other battles that you're having to having to deal with um i like i said i i didn't really have a whole lot prepared uh, other than what i've already been talking about and i i think it's very very important um and you know we are we're we're the, the bible talks about us being in a battle the whole bible is about a, a battle. I mean, a, a, about fighting. I mean, just like our, or my last video was talking about. Um, and so to win this is, is to get on the right team, pick the right side, understand what you're up against. I'm up against myself, my own brain my own deceitful heart 
talk about that before in some video a video where how deceitful our heart is um, you don't want to follow that um, we, we you know battling what's going on evil wise down here on this planet and the corruption and I mean the heat's been turned up God's allowed he's pulled the Holy Spirit back and said okay here you go let them let them let them do their evil thing and and so man um, overwhelming I mean just overwhelming from everywhere everywhere there's there's you can't find anywhere anymore that's that's I don't know if I'm going to use the word safe as far as I mean there's there's some truth still out there that's coming out through the media through some media there's you know facts there's not fiction not made up stuff um, but there's very much there's there's a lot that's just not available down here anymore you know a lot of the churches you can't you can't go seek sanctuary there anymore um, they've gone woke they've they've twisted God's word I mean it's just I mean but God is still he I mean he's alive and well and the Holy Spirit and and I mean everybody just feels the spiritual weight that's going on this this weight it's like ugh. Um, if you don't know Jesus yet, man, and you, you, or if you're still battling with him, or you still don't know, or definitely praying for you, and if you're still dealing with all kinds of crap, your job sucks, and your husband sucks, or your wife sucks, or your kids are being, you know, we're praying for you, praying, praying, praying. And and praying that you turn to God, that you ask Him, man, for help, that you that you you know. There was a point where I I just told God, it's like, man, I'm sorry, I'm sinning. I just can't, you know. I'm smoking like a train. I mean, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I smoked the last one, and okay, I'm gonna quit smoking. And then, boom, first convenience store. I, I'm in there, and I'm buying more cigarettes. Um, God gets it, man. You're, you're, there's a lot of people that sin just because they're stressed. He understands that. And I, I just have to be honest, a lot of my sin was because I was stressed. And why was I stressed? Because I was trying to figure out it all out on my own. I was trying to... Another hat my wife made me awesome. I have the neck warmer to go with it. So she made me some... New pot holder. <laughs> um, man, what is going on with my hat today? Here we go. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're angry and you're sinning that way and you're barking at people and and I totally understand and get it. So does God. Um, this is a tough place to live. It was a tough place to live before it's even I can't imagine not being a Christian in today's world I just can't I mean I don't even want to think about it I was reading um, gotquestions.org man they're awesome and what is a spiritual body and this talks about from Adam up through when we die and you know with with a lot of prayer and discernment I've I've and and asking God, I mean straight up, I mean um, about GodQuestions.org, and He's like, yeah, He gave me the green light. Yeah, it's a good place to go. And so um, I I haven't really found them to be out of bounds yet, um, or off the map, <laughs> woke about certain things. Um, I really think they've they've really intentionally and consciously made an effort to let's keep this as clear and as truthful and as honest as we can as far as what God's word does say. 
And so, um, you know, the, the, the Bible talks about a lot of false teachers and a lot of people being led astray towards the end time and, and people listening to what their itchy ears want to, want to hear. And, and so I, I, I just, I mean, I just want the God's honest truth. And if I'm screwing up, God, I'm doing something wrong. Just tell me, okay, I, I can take criticism. Um, but 99% of what somebody might say may be crap. They don't know what they're talking about, but there might be that just 1% where, you know what, they, they're right. And so, um, um, you have to be open to it. You, you, and, and man, being a Christian, you're, you're, According to God's word, you're going to be up for a lot of criticism as far as he is concerned, because our ways are not his. Um, we, we are not holy like he is. We, we are sinful human beings. And, and so be ready for some criticism and, and don't get your feelings hurt. You're not alone. Um, you know, and, and God, he knows, um, um, he knows. That's why he sent Jesus down here. It's like, <laughs> gotta do something. And he knew that from the get-go. I mean, Jesus was foretold throughout the Old Testament. And God knew that. And and he, he planned it out, and it's, and it's like perfect. We couldn't ask for any better setup than what God's created down here for us. Um, and so, um, um, anyway, don't want to go too long this morning. And, um, let me do something here real quick. I'm going to move my little window around. There we go. All righty. Um, we didn't pray um, when I started this, and, and so I want to, everybody that's battling You got a bunch of different fronts. Um, I'm going to pray for everybody. Pray um, that Jesus, please, they have the, the faith the size of a mustard seed for you to come to them today, to now, and, and help them, Lord, start on a, a, a new a new life, Lord, that, that you promised to give them when they turn to you. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just pray for all these lost people, all these people battling, Lord, all these people dealing, trying to deal with what's going on. Pray, Father God, that you would just, I know you will. I know that you will answer them. I know that you will hear their prayers. I know that you will show up, Lord, in their life if they're truly repentant of their sins or are truly sorry for the things that they have done, that they are truly looking for an answer, Lord, to all of this and, and, and are turning to you, Father. And we just pray, Lord, that you would bless everybody this morning that's listening with this wonderful gift of the Holy Spirit that Jesus, Lord, that you would do exactly what you promised everybody to do, Lord, is to give them a new life, to wash them clean, to set them free, to deliver them, Lord, from their past and from this, this evil, evil world, and that you would start them out on a new life with you. I notice that that's your will. It's your will that none should perish. And in these times, Lord, we just pray everyone Lord that's seeking you that you would just be right there with them Lord and let them absolutely without a shadow of a doubt know that you are with them and that they are now with you even though we are still down here that um, but by the Holy Spirit we are connected that you are wanting a relationship and to be friends with them as well I thank you, Lord, for all my wonderful blessings and, and everything that you've done for me. 
your patience and your loving kindness and your generosity. And we just pray, Lord, that everybody seeking you this morning would find that peace with you, Lord, that, that your word is so true, it surpasses all understanding. And let them please, Father, know that they know that they know, Lord, that you have them, that you are with them, and that uh, you will guide and, and protect and provide for them. We pray all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right, everybody. Um, got a few things to do today. And um, it's still pitch dark out. Otherwise, we would <coughs> go to the window cam. Yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> Just pitch dark. So um, we have the other. We have the um, uh, the other channel up and going, and that's just going to be. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I did stop by my cell phone provider, and uh, signal strength's not a, not an issue. It's our bandwidth, and and uh, live streaming is just. We try to live, and man, it just we don't have enough bandwidth to upload live video. So I'm trying to come up with some bonus content, just some stuff, random stuff to. Fun stuff, stuff we're doing stuff. Um, I mean, uh, the Moose Camp thing. Just trying to throw some bonus material out there on the other channel, and and it, we're not asking anybody to subscribe. Uh, I mean, to become a member of the channel to view that, to pay to view anything. It's all free. Um, but I just I want to throw like ten minutes of just random crap up on. <laughs> on that other channel just random stuff um that that so we can share with other people this this place i get a lot of feedback that a lot of people want to see alaska and and i know that i wanted to see alaska before i moved up here and and i watched all the all the alaska shows and and um and you know i was like i i like how they're living very simply they're not wasting their time doing stuff uh, that doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I spend my time doing stuff here that matters as far as being able to survive, have access in and out of my house, uh, have heat, have food, uh, <laughs> to be dry, uh, <laughs> to get dry if you're wet, uh, to get warm if you're cold. Um, so yeah, we're, this is like back to basics. Um, and, and I love it. It's great. It, and, we're we're living like they did 150 years ago, but with modern technology and convenience. So um, anyway, the other channel, uh, I'm um, I'm not going to be able to live on that thing, but we can um, we can do pre-recorded live stuff. So anyway, just bear with us on the other channel. I'm trying to get that rolling, and like I said, I really feel led to just throw some. I, I'm just. It's not crap, but just random stuff and and what we think is cool and and up on that other channel, just just I want to do at least ten minutes a day of something that we did, a trip to town or um, I, I'm gonna take my drone out here to the corner of the highway and simulate a traffic cam. <laughs> just like this program was pre-recorded. For your entertainment, but do it, it's it's going to be live when I shoot it. It's going to be a live traffic cam when I shoot it. <laughs> but uh, so it'll be a pre-recorded live traffic cam, or a pre pre-recorded moose cam, or 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 whatever else. I mean, we're just we're just trying to. I'm just trying to just share the Lord in any way that I can, and and if it's on that other channel and it's not not an in-your-face God channel or something. Maybe there's some people that don't know the Lord yet that'll that'll be drawn and they want to watch some stuff that we're doing and what's going on up here. And hopefully maybe they'll be inspired to kind of take a look at this God thing if they're already not looking. But uh, just doing the best they can with what I got up here, people. And, and um, I... I I feel Lord. I feel led to do what I can for God, and and um, He had asked me if I would speak for Him prior um, about six years ago, and He asked me three times. I didn't really know 
what that entailed if I was going to be like some kind of a minister guy or I, I didn't know what it what it was but I told him yes three times so here here I am speaking for him and so um, I'm going to honor my commitment to him and do what I can and give what I got and um, um, praying and asking him for wisdom and advice and encouragement and the directions that we're supposed to go and so um, um, anyway um, do you guys have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see or do or on the channel or or CS do or whatever just let us know so I'm just trying to be creative and and um, I, I think that um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff just random stuff that we can do that uh, um, hopefully people will find entertaining so uh, as well as talking about God and, and learning something about Him and, and learning something about having a relationship with Him. So God bless everybody, and um, we will talk to you later.